Okay, so I wish I could sit here and show you all my cool Camaros, but I don't have those anymore. They're gone. My red lines, they're all gone. Yes, yes. Yes, I don't have anything for you, Frank. Anything good. And, um, so I'm starting all over, and, you know, you got to collect what you like. That's what they say, right? So I'm collecting the state cars because I'm just not cool enough to show you some Camaros. Um, actually, I'm just a special ed middle school teacher. I teach social studies. So when I came across these at CVS the other day on the pegs, that's right, on the pegs, um, I grabbed every one they had. Um, this is perfect for my classroom. I could put these up. It comes with these little cases. I could put them up in my class and maybe get the kids to look at the map again one more time. Um, I want to get first, I want to start with the four states I've lived in, New York, Nevada, Arizona, and California, and hopefully get all of them so I can put them up around the map and do it justice. You know, something like this could be more high interest for the special ed classes that I teach. I teach like behavior problem classes, like emotional, emotionally disturbed. Uh, so anything to motivate them works. You know. So what I want to do is show you each car a little more in depth and also talk about some of the other things I collect uh, to go in my class. Uh, that might uh, be cool. All right. So the first one I'm starting off with here is the Fat Fended 40 for New York. It's a yellow checker cab. I love the city skyline on there. Number 11. It's got some flames. And then the hood on this is great. It says Excelsior. And of course, New York. Well, their fun fact here on the back of the card says there are more than 12,000 yellow medallion taxi cabs in New York City. That's pretty crazy when you think about how small it is. And there's the little split rear window. I love that. And, you know, my fun fact about New York is just the, I just love the rich culture, the Broadway shows, the food, the uh, baseball, all the sports, especially uh, the Mets. I'm a Mets fan, and uh, New York is great. So I had to get this one, reminds you of all the cabs in the city. The next one I found in CVS for two bucks was Kansas, the drag tractor, or the drag tur. And uh, Kansas is known for their grain and wheat production. So it's obvious why they chose a tractor. <laughs> and I don't have the card back for this one because my son, he saw a tractor. He was so excited he just ripped this one open immediately. And um, the other great thing about Kansas, and they remembered it here, is it says on the top, there's no place like home. There's no place like home. That's Dorothy. And um, comes from the Wizard of Oz. This moves like this, has a lot of nice detail here in the, under the tractor here. Love these wheels, pretty cool. This piece here is plastic, so this kind of comes off real easy, which I don't like that, but I think it's really more for display in the case anyway, which is what I eventually want to do with it in the classroom. And my favorite thing about Kansas is the name, Kansas. It comes from the Sioux word for southern wind. So that's a good thing, way to remember what Kansas is like. That's why Dorothy flew away there or whatever in the tornado. So that's Kansas.
This is the 69 Pontiac Firebird for New Mexico. I love the color of this. I love to be driving this in New Mexico. Just letting it all out full speed down those empty roads. And also New Mexico is cool because they filmed Breaking Bad there, right? But anyway, the 69 Pontiac Firebird. This is one of my favorites of, of this series of, of uh, connect cars here. So, what do they say on the card back? Because New Mexico's climate's so dry, three quarters of the roads are left unpaved as there's little chance of road washouts. Um, <laughs> New Mexico, um, I, when I went through Mexi New Mexico, we stopped, we drove cross country when we moved here from New York. I'm living in Las Vegas now in Nevada and we passed through New Mexico and I ate at a nice place, uh, Dell's in Ticumcari on, uh, right on Route 66. So that was pretty cool. And um, New Mexico, the word also is another interesting word for a state. It was named by the Sp Spanish explorers who were hoping they would find equal amounts of treasure that they found from the Aztec civilization in Mexico. So they called it New Mexico, hoping to find all that gold. And lastly, we have Florida with the nice green metal flake paint. C 69 Camaro convertible. And it's obvious why they would put a convertible in Florida for the Florida car. I, I like real I really like the hoods on these actually. I wish they were actually more like the with red lines and a little higher quality, but actually some of the detail is really nice though. I like the Gator, Country, Tampa, Everglades. Another beautiful place to visit in Florida that I'd like to check out, the Everglades. Go on a swamp tour. So, you know, what do they say on the back card here of Florida? Convertibles are extremely popular in Florida due to the state's high average of sunny days. Yeah, and, and unless it's like 4 p.m. and you're at Disney and you paid already and then it starts raining, then and you, you rented a convertible. Otherwise, Florida is really sunny, right? And uh, my fun fact on Florida is, yes, it's a peninsula. For those of you who don't know your geography, peninsula means it's surrounded by water on three sides. And I know some of you can't believe it, but yeah, the Gulf of Mexico over there, that's, that's still considered a body of water. And, you know, us in New York, you know, I guess what we know about Florida is that's where all our old people go to die. That's Florida. And then I'm also going to collect buses. And this bus I found at the Toy Shack in Las Vegas for less than a dollar. I think it's 19... Uh, what does it say? Um, it was... The design says 1988, but I think it was 98 that this one came out. It's the Mix Signal School Bus. And I this is just hilarious for teachers. Warning brats on board. Caution, toxic, and it has a little picture of the kids and they're toxic. Yeah, kids, wear your deodorant. If you're in sixth grade and you don't have deodorant on yet, go get some. Save your dollar uh, on a car and buy deodorant. Do not use if imprinted safety seal band is broken or missing from the child. Enter and you'll regret it. Danger, acid rock. Careful, what is that? Careful, nervous bus driver driving. <laughs> so, this is pretty funny. Any teacher would find this hilarious. The mixed signal school bus. And then this is the 
graphics, black graphics team school bus. Also got this one at Toy Shack for like 79 cents. Designed in 88, but I think it was 99 or 98 or something. I think this would be a really cool school bus to go to school in, especially with the red tinted windows on the way to school. Everything would be red. Pretty crazy. Going to be collecting these road tripping especially the ones that I've been to for the national parks that I've been to. This one's Death Valley 190. It's got the dirt bike there on the back. Really cool. And uh, if you look real close at that, that's the dry lake bed. I'm gonna have pictures of that. It's so cool. I drove like 30 miles on a dirt road to get photos of that and it has moving rocks, like the rocks slowly move in with wind when the ground is slick. And it's just a really, really cool place. I thought there'd be nothing at Death Valley, but there's actually so much stuff to photograph in a short little spot. Um, sand dunes, um, the moving rocks, all kinds of formations and stuff. Got to go at the right time of the year though. But this car actually has some nice detail and is actually really full metal and probably flies on the track actually. Dodge, Death Valley. So I'm gonna show you in another video pictures of Death Valley along with this purple paint. So I just wanted to add that you should look out for the Hot Wheels speedometry curriculum if you're looking at this video for Hot Wheels for Teachers. It's going to come out in May of 2015. Actually you can already download the lesson plans. I'll put a link below. Um, they have lesson plans for teachers and families. and you It's geared toward for fourth graders but if you do in middle school or even early high school, you can probably still do these lessons. And especially a, a special ed teacher like me, I can use this for sure. Um, it's Teachers already do this kind of lesson. It's like a physics lesson. They do it with the marble run type of thing. And, and they, they it's like science roller coasters and they measure the speed and velocity and all that. So I think adding the, adding the Hot Wheels cars just makes it more interesting for the kids and it's gonna be fun. Um, if you're a science teacher, you can order the kit in May and you get like 40 cars and 100 feet of track and all this good stuff to do your uh, lessons. So look out for that. And I just want to thank you for watching and checking out my Connect cars. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to get something uh, better soon and finish my set and get those uh, set up in my class. So have a good one.